I think coming off of the Benson Henderson fight was definitely the most pressure filled performance of my career. You know, you're, you're talking about a, going into a 13 week training camp because of a worldwide pandemic in which numerous training partners and coaches and people around me and the news media were testing positive for coronavirus. You constantly had this fear of not only getting the virus, but being around people who have the virus. So I wasn't able to travel home much, not to mention the fact that if I contracted COVID or my training partners, coaches, or opponent, or any of his camp contracted COVID, that I probably wasn't gonna get a paycheck or my fight was gonna be pushed back. Add that to the fact that this is the last fight on my contract, I decided to make the decision to fight out my contract, to go into free agency. So if this fight gets pushed back, it prolongs all of that. So it was just a whirlwind of emotions, plus you're dealing with the physical aspect of overtraining and training longer than you normally do. Normally my training week, my training camps are eight weeks long. I was training 12, 13 weeks for it. So it was by far the most pressure filled, toughest season of my life, coupled with the fact that it was an opponent that was tough. Benson Henderson has a knack for making you not look so great. He's not the most skilled fighter, but he's extremely durable. He makes great fighters look not so good inside that cage. And I needed to not just get a win, I needed to get a finish. So to be able to go out there, finish him in the first two minutes of the fight was the most picture perfect performance I possibly could have ever imagined. And you can tell by my post-fight celebration, just the elation and the screaming and the look in my eyes. Not only was I surprised because I, I had accepted going into that fight that I was probably gonna have to put, put it on Ben Anderson for 15 minutes. It was gonna be a 15 minute war, a 15 minute performance. Ends up being a two minute fast knockout and it was probably one of the greatest moments of my professional career, my greatest performance of my professional career thus far. We took that momentum going into free agency and the next move was big. training in March. I left my family in April. I was gone April through August for my, my August fight. Since there was a worldwide pandemic going on, I wasn't able to travel back and forth on the weekends like I normally was. So I went, you know, a month and a half almost without seeing my family. And it was, it was very, very tough. My wife is the most loving, most selfless, most, most amazing woman and human being on the planet. She's emotionally intelligent. She is emotionally mature. She can handle me being gone and, and and put her calling over her comfort in, in the sense of being a spouse. But my son, you know, my son is three years old. My son understands who his dad is. My son needs his dad. He's, he's very much in a season right now that, that I hung the moon, that I am the best thing on planet Earth and he needs to be around me. So this last training camp, since I went right back into training camp, went right back into, down to Florida, we brought some help down and I brought my son down for a little over a week and I was able to show him the gym and we played, we played a lot in the gym or we played between practices. This is the first time I've ever done that. I wasn't sure how I was gonna respond, how, how, how I was gonna respond mentally, physically, spiritually because people don't understand how, how mentally and physically draining a training camp is when you're either you wake up and you're focused on the fight and you go to practice and whether or not you have a good day or a bad day determines on how those couple hours are between that first practice and the second practice and you think about the fight some more and then you have a second practice and your body's beat down you're dealing with injuries you're dealing with physical and mental ailments Right, so, so when you fall, you're, you're getting, you're falling, and, 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 and that car's going to move, and you hit, and, you, and, and, and it's going to, you see that car? Yep. That car's going to move. Uh, Red uh, shoes? No. What's that? That one. Okay. Listen, they're all professionals, okay? So we got to listen to them, okay? I loved being around him. I loved that every day I got done with practice, I did the extra work, I did what I needed to do, but as soon as I was done, as soon as I hit the showers and, and got dressed, I wanted to go see him. I wanted to go spend time with him. Even if it was just walking around the lake or it was just 
watching him play with his cars or playing with his cars with him. Or just one day we one day we took a nap together. One day we just cuddled for three, four hours and watched TV together. For me, it was perfect. I rested, I recovered, I, I was built up. My spirit, my heart was full by being with him because as a professional fighter, as a professional athlete, or just as a, as, a, as a man trying to accomplish anything in life, there's a lot of people who can relate to this. You have what you want to do with your life, but then you also have the most important thing in your life, which is being that father figure, being that, that man who, who makes good on his promise. And whenever I picked him up for the first time and I looked him in his eyes, and he was only nine months old and he couldn't understand what I was saying, but I looked him in the eyes and promised him that I was gonna take care of him and love and cherish and serve him for the rest of his life. I want to make good on that promise and I want him to grow up knowing that his dad wasn't there all the time because he was out there pursuing what God's calling on his life was. He was a man who did the best that he possibly could in each and every scenario to be the best father, the best husband, the best man that he could possibly be. When I go right back into training camp now, I'm going to make sure I set the wheels in motion to be able to have him come down for almost all of training camp, be with him as much as possible. None of this fight game and the glitz and the glam and the money and the cameras and all this stuff, none of this stuff is as important as father. World champion is great. Millionaire is awesome and famous is cool, but father is where the rubber meets the road. Father is, is the most important title, the most important thing I will ever be called in my entire life. And I can win the world title a hundred times over, but that's not gonna mean a thing unless my son is taken care of, unless my son and my wife think that I'm doing a good job at home. Hey, I'm sorry, Miss Jackson.